So I have this 10 gigabit ethernet card sent to me by Wavelink. And if you want to check out the review on this, go ahead and check out the previous video on this card. It's awesome. But what we did not show in that video is the installation process. Can you put this in any PCIe slot that's open that it will fit in? Not necessarily, but you might be able to, but you might lose the capabilities of something else that's installed, etc. So we're going to discuss that a little bit. We're going to keep this video kind of short, so stay right there. So here I have an MSI motherboard. This is a, a top tier motherboard. It's, it's pretty expensive for the time period that this was. However, it's just kind of a little side note. But what we have here is we have three PCIe slots. Now they're not all equal. And what do I mean by that? They're all by 16 slots. That's the physical portion of it. It's a by 16 slot. But that doesn't mean they're all, they all run at by 16. So this card runs at by four. So you cannot run anything lower than that. They do make a by one slot. And just as an example, that's a by one slot. It's very short. And this card won't even physically fit in there. So that's a buy one only. These are all buy 16 physically in the size, but they don't all run at buy 16. So what I'm going to tell you is this motherboard is capable of running buy 16, buy zero, buy four. Now this would be a buy zero because this top one is buy 16. You can run this one in a by eight by eight by four. So that would mean your graphics card, if it had the capability of running more than by eight, you would lose some of that if you enabled this port right here. Now you have to do that through the BIOS or it might be auto selecting if you put something in there. This bottom one, however, has two options. It can run by four, now it won't run, it'll run always by four, but there's M.2 slots under these covers. And if you occupy, I looked at, I had to, I, I can't memorize all this for every board. So I had to look it up. But if you occupy the M.2 uh, underscore four, so that's the fourth M.2 slot. So you would have to look it up in the manual or it might be printed on here. But if you occupy it with an M.2 drive, like an MVME, then this by four, it turns into a by four to a by one. So this card will not even operate. It'll fit in a by four, it'll fit in a by eight, and it'll fit in a by 16 slot if the slots were different size. But normally they keep them by 16 physically and by one physically. Now I hope that didn't like confuse you. <laughs> too much here if this was my motherboard right here and i had a graphics card up here i'd want to keep that at a by 16 in case any new graphics cards come out that actually utilize more bandwidth i'd want that entire bandwidth i wouldn't want to put this card right here and that would cut this down to a by eight and it would run at a by eight even though it's capable of running a by 16. what i would do is not occupy that M.2 slot, that's M.2 underscore uh, four or dot four. It's the fourth slot. I would actually not occupy that and I would put this card right down here. And that's the way I would do it on such motherboard here. Now, just to make it a little clearer on this, we'll kind of go over it kind of one more time just on a different motherboard. Now, this one has three slots. We have a by 16, a by one, and a by 16 physically but this top one is a by 16 by 16 so you can you can install a graphics card in here and if the graphics card or whatever you put in there can utilize the entire bandwidth of a by 16 it's going to run that fast this right here the second one down is a by one by one you can't install a by one card and get by four or anything else out of that it is a by one by one now, this bottom one is a by 16 physically, but it's only has the bandwidth of a by four. So this card would work only in the bottom slot, meaning if you didn't have a graphics card, you can put it up here, okay, if you're running internal graphics out of here. But if you have a graphics card in there, you want to put this card down here. This one will continue to run at a by 16, even though this one's installed down here. Now here's the caveat. So if, there's a, 
I believe this M.2 right here, if this M.2, it's uh, M.2 underscore three, I believe. If this one's occupied, it completely disables this one down here. So you only get the 16 and the buy one. That's where it's kind of sucks, <laughs> to, to be honest. But that's just how this stuff works. So you have to read your manual or you have to look up the manual online to figure out where you can put this uh, before you purchased one, just to make sure you can actually do it. So if you were to put this in a slot like here, and it turns this from a 16 to a by eight, and this is by eight, it's usually not a big problem even with today's graphics cards because they don't utilize the entire bandwidth. But I just wanted to kind of make you guys aware of how these things work. What you're gonna do is, depending on your case manufacturer, you're either gonna have screws on the outside of the case that you have to remove, or you're gonna have a screw and a PCIe cover on the inside, or expansion slot cover on the inside of the case, you know, with a screw that you have to remove in correspondence with where this thing sits. So again, with this thing, I said we would put it in the bottom slot and you can see that there is a notch right in there. That corresponds with the notch right there. So when you're putting it in, just go straight in, just like that. And I don't know if I can get you a different angle, but that's the way it goes in right there. And you want to keep it fairly straight, see that it goes up and down, but keep it perpendicular with the board there. And just, just push it in. Sometimes you have to rock it a little bit. The latch right over here is going to be for your by 16 cards, whatever you put in there. That's where this guy right here is going to be utilized. Otherwise, once you get that installed, there will be either a screw here or a screw on this outside that you have to reinstall. So you're gonna keep that PCIe cover off or the expansion slot cover off, and then you're gonna reuse the screw and put it right in there. And I'll demonstrate that real quick. What you're gonna do is grab yourself a screwdriver that's long enough. And right here we have, th we actually have four PCIe slots. We have a by 16, a by one, a by one, and a by 16. Our only option if we had a graphics card up here is to put it in the bottom one. But you also have to look up on the manufacturer. But for this demonstration, I'm just gonna install it. We're not gonna operate it. I already did that in another video, but I just wanna show you the installation process of this. So you have to visualize where this is going. Okay, and do you have to take out, oops, I got this upside down. And do you have to take out a expansion slot cover? Which, yes, we have to take out this top one. We're gonna go ahead and remove this top one right here. Don't lose your screw. And then you're gonna just take this expansion slot cover off. Now, don't lose your screw because we do need the screw. And now you're gonna take your card here. And of course, remember there's a notch here and there's a notch in there, they're on all of them. And it's a little funky, but back and in here, there's kind of a spot. You don't wanna be on the outside of this with this part. You wanna be on the inside of this steel part, but before the motherboard. All right, so now you're just going to take your card, you're gonna line it up with that slot and Give it a little push right there. And that's all the way in. It's seated all the way in because I can tell because the bracket is just about touching the other metal. And then you're gonna take your screw and put it right back in so it's secure. Now, be mindful that these slots would be occupied by either a graphics card or you would have to put these things right back in. Or you would have these things in, I should say. So these things would sit in there like that and you wouldn't even know the difference. And that is how you install one of these guys. See, pretty simple. And that's gonna wrap it up for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave your comments down below if you wish for any questions also and give this thing a thumbs up please to help the algorithm and subscribe, consider subscribing. And until next time guys, take care.